Okay, so we have this question that was just asked, can the cis-trans prefixes be applied to acyclic alkanes, right? So here we've built an acyclic alkane, okay, so hopefully you can see there's an acyclic, right? And let's go ahead and just look at this molecule and we'll draw the structure up on the board, okay? So we've got a methyl going back on the third carbon and a methyl coming forward on the fourth carbon. So let's draw that. So we're drawing it in perspective. This one's coming forward. And this one's going back. Okay, so if we wanted to name this, right, we would name this one, two, three, four, five, six a hexane, right? And it's got one, two methyl groups, and they're on the three and four carbon, right? So we've named this three, four dimethyl hexane. You cool with that? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So, um, remember when we're saying cis and trans, you might say, if we look at this, either this um, a molecule, the building of the model, or the drawing, we might say, well, these are trans, uh, these two methyl groups from each other, right? But you need to re remember that with acyclic molecules, you can rotate around single bonds, okay? So if we rotate around that single bond, what do we see? Where we can make those, you know, two methyl groups cis with each other, okay? So, um, depending on this perspective or the conformational perspective that you have this molecule, right? So if I turn it like this, right, I could redraw this molecule and show both those methyl groups pointing towards us now, okay? So the cis-trans um, prefixes for the different isomers of cycloalkanes don't work for the, um, the just the acyclic alkanes, okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, wonderful.